Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's uh, your boy Manuel Peralta, and um, everybody in the group was making a video about, you know, what they did or something that inspired them this week or something tragic that may have happened years ago that's made them explain why they're in this type of business, why they do what they do, and why we're all in basically in service to help people because that's what it boils down to at the end of the day so my story is basically you know I was I'm still shaking off the lazy angitis <laughs> so I, I really didn't really didn't want to pursue anything honestly I didn't want to go to school I didn't really too much care about work. I mean, I always had money with me and I always had a job, but it, it wasn't something that I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to do this and do that. Um, I never really liked doing basically anything. You know, money to me was not, was, was nothing, you know, it's not because I had a lot of it. I just didn't care about it to the point that it, I didn't realize that it's like, look, you don't got to have a love for money, but you have to have some kind of respect for it enough to have it around you just in case if anything happened. I, that's how I, you know, didn't even think like that because I didn't expect anything to go down. So I was just living paycheck to paycheck, not worrying about much, not, you know, really thinking that something was going to happen down the line and it happened when I was 19 so I was 19 years old and my mother had gotten mentally ill you know she basically wanted to kill herself she wanted to commit suicide not with a knife and dagger you know I can't believe I'm actually even putting this out there but you know it's just so much her growing up you know over time it just compiled and she just didn't really want to keep going anymore. So I had to be that life force for her. You know, I had to make sure she ate. I had to make sure I spoke with her and let her know, you know, the things that's going on in her mind is just negative things. You know, it's just the devil playing with you right now. And you got to fight yourself to get better. So that's what I did. You know, I just talked to my mom, made sure I was there for her. Like she was there for me, you know, when, uh, when I was young, so I kind of made her into my daughter. <laughs> you can say that, you know, I would brush her hair if I had to brush her hair. Wouldn't paint the toenails, but uh, I had to. I would, you know, and made sure she was always comfortable and you know happy that she was around me and around my son. Wasn't even born at the time, and I was dealing with a pregnant ex-girlfriend at the time as well. And, you know, juggling bills. And that same year, I actually found out that uh, one of my good friends had died of cancer. So it was it was pretty tough. You know, I didn't really know how to accept everything that was coming my way. You know, most of my life had always been tragic. You know, not a lot of just family passing, but just, you know, drama within us, you know, things just happening, you know, school, money, we had to move to Georgia from Miami, and it all happened, you know, because growing up, you know, our parents' mindset is to just work or be taken care of, be an at-home wife, you know, just not live off the system because we were all at the bottom, but, you know, my aunts and my uncles, they went off and they became, you know, kind of successful at what they do and able to, you know, really kind of live the lifestyle that they want, honestly. And for some reason, my mom, it, it just never, never clicked for her. I'm not guessing, you know, she raised three kids. It was me and I have two older sisters. So, yes, women are a very big part of my life. <laughs> and... You know, it was uh, it was tough because, you know, they went off, my sisters went off, you know, one of them turned into a paralegal, the other one turned into, I think it's a registered nurse or something above that, 
something, you know, pretty, it was pretty good. She's pretty successful at it, going to school still, you know, to go and get her, her master's. But, you know, I was, I wasn't the one really that was going to, at least I didn't think I was the one that was going to carry the torch for us. You know, I always used to sit back and wonder about my father, you know, who he was, how was he. I never got to meet him. You know, he passed when I was three years old. So I basically grew up with no father figure, you know, in my life. And a lot of people, they'll kind of blame that and use that like, oh, you know, I, I don't know. My mother, you know, was my father as well. And that's basically who I'll give the kudos and the props to. So coming back from all of that, you know, not having the mindset to win, having so much tragedy, always wondering that question in my mind, damn, you know, who was he? What he would have been cool? What would have he taught me, you know, what would I have learned? And then as I got older, you know, as things got more hectic, more crazy, around, I would say, 22, 22, 23, things really, like, smoothed out because I, I was at a point where I was like, okay, you know, got a good job, making good money, taking care of my family, just got my truck, this, that, and the third. And then I still felt, like, that huge, like, gap of emptiness because I'm like, I'm dedicating so much time to someone else's business and helping them grow, but I'm not growing. You know, I don't see my bank account blowing up. I don't see a whole bunch of good things coming my way. I, I just see a whole bunch of doors being open for opportunities just in case if that's an option for me. But it's not an option that's being pushed towards me because at the end of the day, a boss wants you to stay and work for him. A leader wants you to branch out and make things happen for yourself. That's the difference between a boss and a leader. A boss will tell you what to do. A leader will show you what to do. And I decided, you know, I don't want to be a boss. I want to be a leader. You know, I want to show people. I want to be there with them, you know, and show them this is not the way of living that you have to live. You have another option. You have another way out. You have the actual power to control what it is that your future makes you feel right now and manifest it into what you want your future to be tomorrow, you know, or right now. Because the thin line that they always talked about success is a yes or a no. It's that simple. Someone tells you to do something that you know has made them money and you say no, you can say buy the success. You say yes. You just opened up a door to another door that's going to leave you a clue once you open up that door because success leaves clues. So I was always clueless <laughs> and trying to really figure out what am I going to push forward towards until, you know, internet marketing came my way, save my tail. Because honestly, you know, people tell me, what do you do? You always come back and tell me how much fun you have. And it's like, what, what are you in college? What is it, like a big frat party? I said, no, nah, man, it's just when you're around people that you really care and actually got love for. And they're actually teaching you something valuable. You connect with them. Period. Doesn't matter what your ethnicity is, what your background, what your past. You connect with them. Because you grow a love for that person because they care and love about the same thing you do. So your mind is easily connected with people. Easily. And that's something, man, I love about this industry. And another thing that I love about this industry is the power to command yourself to say, I want it. You know, I want this. And I'm going to do it, you know, looking back when I was a non, non action taker at all, I didn't think that today, you know, October 11th, I was actually going to be here making a video explaining to you, you know, that 
being successful is something very important and making sure that that success comes out of pure joy, happiness, and just abundance, you know, it's it's all worth it. You know, it really is. And uh, I'll never take this back. I'll never take any decision that I've made working online with the people that I've been working online with. Ever will I take that back. So, my name is Manuel Peralta, and I want to leave this video for you here. Click the link down below, and let's get going. My computer crashed. I'm sorry. You're probably like, why the hell is he staring at the screen? I'm going to stop it right now. Peace. Click the link down below. Start working with me.